Hello, I'm Emily Edwards, an intern with Plymouth Film, and what you just watched was What News, a creative and entertaining short film in our K-12 Southern Shores category. With us today is the film director, J.L. Ballou. J.L., it's fine, nice to finally meet you. Thank you. Okay, so I saw that you are 13, right? Yeah. Are you just starting middle school? No. I'm going into eighth. You're going into eighth grade? Okay. Yeah. What in, like, what propelled you to do this little short film about a news broadcasting? Well, my sister, Rachel, mm -hmm. had an idea because, like, we were messing with these spare phones we have, and we were just clicking the um, recommended text. Mm -hmm. And it was just funny to us. And then we thought, what if it was a broken teleprompter? <laughs> like, just something funny. Mm -hmm. Just, you wanted to do, like, a little comedic uh, news report? Yeah. I found it very cute that um, all, when each one of you were talking, especially you at the beginning, you it was just a bunch of like randomness. What did you make purposely make it a little random so people had to like be very like watching of what you're saying to kind of understand? Yeah, we did the recommended text for the script. <laughs> what what were some of the things that you said at the beginning? Do you kind of remember at all? Well. <laughs> it's been a little while since I yeah. watched it but like uh, it's how been about, a long while how about this question um did what did you have to do to like ask for your school's permission to use like the library and stuff nothing because my mom's a teacher oh. she just unlocked it so so you got you didn't even have to ask you pretty much had the way in for yourself yeah um God. so were you recording this film during school i think it was like june or july right before the oh. end yeah Enjoy. So it was summertime when you decided to film it? Yeah. I saw that you use uh, the Klamath Film equipment. How did you reach out to Klamath Film to get your equipment and get the knowledge to use the equipment and edit? Well, I went to their film camp and learned like how to do everything. Mm -hmm. And they said we could borrow some equipment for our videos mm -hmm. so I did that <laughs> so you went to the Columbus film camp in July did what you learn in during the Columbus film uh camp help you film the your film a little better yeah especially the editing the editing part what were some of the things that you learned during this film camp? Um, I learned how to do like editing and um, we learned about some of the history of filming and like he had this whole PowerPoint thing mm -hmm. um, he showed us and there's um, we learned about how they made movies mm -hmm. and like about green screen a lot of things <laughs> was it did you have a lot of fun yeah um while editing your video your short film what was it like for you since you're so young and haven't really done a, an editing process before well i mostly had to like remember what he said during film camp mm -hmm. and 
I didn't do all this crazy editing, so I didn't need to do much. But I still remember how to do the crazy editing, even though I didn't need to use it. So you used what you learned during your film camp and put it into something that you made yourself. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, for how did you go about asking your mom and everyone that you asked to help with your film? Well, they just really wanted to help me. I didn't really have to ask because they thought it was a fun idea. Mm -hmm. So So, they were willing to help you. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say that it was fun filming with your mom and your sisters and stuff? Yeah. What do you, how did you feel while you were uh, filming your little project? I was really happy about it Mm -hmm. because like, I've always liked filming stuff and doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's just fun. It's just fun. Would you say that making this film has like made you think of having a career in filmmaking? Maybe. Maybe. But like the editing is a little hard. Mm -hmm. Do you think think you're going to make a film next year for the film festival? possibly possibly we have an idea so you you do have an idea for next year do you feel like for next year you're going to be more like ready and more experienced for that short short film than this short film probably what kind of things did you learn while filming this video like what were some things that were hard for you and what were some easy things well, editing was hard. Um, filming was pretty easy because we helped film like the little short film that we made during our film camp. Mm-hmm. And I knew how to work the camera that he gave us. So that made that it was easier. Easy. Yeah. So the filming process was the easier part. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So at the weather part, well, what you guys were you guys throwing stuffed animals and stuff at what was it your sister? Yeah, and my mom. Were you throwing stuffed animals at your sister? Supposedly, was it supposed to be raining cats and dogs? Yeah. How did that idea come to be? We were just kind of brainstorming funny phrases about weather Mm -hmm. we were just like what should we do and then it's raining cats and dogs and we have like so many stuffed animals like there's a lot (laughs) so you were you wanted to do something a little goofy because I saw that was kind of what you guys were going for at the beginning also you wanted to keep the trend going yeah what was your favorite part out of this whole film like like your favorite best part you made um <laughs> like it was just a really fun process and like mm-hmm. having people actually watch it and enjoy it is making me happy yeah I thought it was really cute my favorite part was definitely the cats and dogs I thought that was a good touch at the end um what else with your little sister is that was that your little sister at at one point that was filming or not filming but she was in like she was where you were what was what was her role your little sister she was she was the sports person is the sports person and my older sister was the basic news person basic news so what your mom do mostly helped film and gave Mm -hmm. me ideas that would actually work (laughs) because 
do you think your your mom being in a film before helped you a little bit with like insight with how films were made well yeah yeah <laughs> would you say your your mom helped you quite a bit during your film process yeah who were some of your biggest supporters during your film process well like my family mm -hmm. and some of my friends like knew about it mm -hmm. so they were also have any of your friends seen your film yet have you shown them what were yeah. their what were their thoughts on it they liked it and they thought it was funny too they thought it was funny also yeah so since you're going to be in eighth grade next year what kind of thoughts and uh, are you thinking about for next year or is it going to be a big surprise I don't know if it's going to be a surprise, but I'll give you, like, a little... A little sneak. insight? Yes. <laughs> so, my parents were, like, dieting, and they were, like, calories are, like, a budget, and it's, like, spending money. Mm -hmm. So, we decided to make a joke on them, mm -hmm. and, like... My mom thought it was so funny she filmed it, not with, like, a fancy camera, with, like, just her uh -oh. cell phone. And, like, my grandma thought it was funny, and my aunts and uncles did, my cousins. Have you showed your grandparents your film yet? Yes. What did your grandparents think since they live so far away? They also thought it was funny because... Um, we were all in their living room and mm -hmm. they wanted to show everyone. So even my cousins and aunts and uncles saw it too. So your whole family got to watch your little film. Yeah. That's really neat. Hey, is there anything else you would like to say about what news? I don't know. Probably <laughs> not. <laughs> Okay, so thank you so much, DL, for being a part of the Klamath Independent Film Festival. What news will stream on Sunday, September 18th at 10.15 a.m. in our K-12 Southern Shorts category? Thank you so much.